Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News, June 16th, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, back in the middle of May 2018, last month, I previewed and captured some very odd information and video that was on the uh, SETCHI website. And uh, we referred to it as a space wheel unidentified object. If any of you saw the live streams and the video updates, still, folks, this object is unidentified. It looks very, very similar to a space habitat or referred to as a space wheel. Uh, this was theorized and thought about, and a model was built by German scientist and NASA scientist Werner von Braun back in 1956. I previewed that information in that video and that live stream. Over the course of the last couple of days, I've been reviewing more of the footage of this object. And at the same time, we are seeing some type of, it, it looks like a, an explosive interaction with Jupiter, but it may not be coming from Jupiter. I doubt that very highly. Several other YouTube channels have jumped on the bandwagon since I showed this information back in the middle of May. Naturally, they have their own theories and opinions as to what this large object is that is moving through the video footage. Ladies and gentlemen, we may never know what it is. One of the reasons for my video is to show you the progression of this object and what it's transforming into. Now, back in 2016, there was a similar object that was once again photographed and videotaped from Sechi. Some YouTube channels referred to it as the parachute bomb. Why, I don't know. But it's very odd. And it is definitely not something that is natural. One of the other reasons for this video is to talk about the disinformation. And I have this set up right now in my video editing software. And I'm just going to go ahead and play this through. I'll narrate a little bit. But the trolling organizations are running scared, trying to prove this is nothing more than a camera artifact. So far, they haven't been able to prove anything, in my opinion. And once again, the truth is smeared by disinformation and slander by these trolling organizations. You're looking at some of the current video footage. You'll see that Jupiter is labeled in blue. You will also see this object moving through space at the bottom of your screen here, moving towards Venus, which is up here in your upper left-hand corner. This gray object that you see here it's referred to as the beacon. It is supposed to be part of this spacecraft. But I'm doubting that, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll get to that at the end of this video. There seems to be some type of interaction with Jupiter. As I reviewed this video footage days ago. But now I'm starting to doubt that this explosive action came from Jupiter. As Dr. Elbers and I reviewed this, and we've been working on this for a few days now, we are starting to think that this, this gray area here, this beacon, is a computer-generated image, and possibly it is placed into this video to hide what is behind it. I don't think that there was any type of explosion 
on Jupiter. However, it does seem that this reaction is coming from an object that is being hidden by this so-called beacon. At the same time in this video footage, you're going to see something starting to extend from this object. Now, referring back to video footage from 2016, we saw this same object over and over and over again. I believe it was for approximately maybe about a month and a half that we were able to view that object. Now, again, there were several other YouTube channels that labeled it the parachute bomb. But folks, we don't know exactly what it is. Now, we're looking at the H1A version of this video. You're not going to see that parachute bomb in this video, even though it is the same camera. You're going to see this reaction, which looks like it's coming from Jupiter. And folks, this so-called beacon, if this was an actual object attached to the spacecraft, why would we see the light shine through it? To me, it seems like it is a computer-generated uh, input in this video. Dr. Albers and I have been reviewing this for days now. And uh, we just can't seem to, you know, put our, our finger on what exactly is happening. We have our own theories. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and progress this just a little bit till we get to the, uh, the part where this interaction occurs. And as you can see right there, whatever this is, it's not coming from Jupiter. I feel, Dr. Elbers feels the same way, that this beacon or this, this inputted uh, artifact here is computer generated. It seems to be hiding something that is behind it. Whatever it is, whether it be Planet X or an unknown object, it seems that the interaction with Jupiter, as Jupiter approaches, and folks, we're talking about, you know, tens of millions of miles in distance between these two objects. But their very, very strong magnetic fields may have interacted once again, creating this action that we're seeing, this what looks like an explosive reaction. It is not coming from Jupiter. It is coming from the object that is behind this so-called beacon. Now, Dr. Elbers and I are going to do a live stream later on this evening, and we're going to talk about this. And um, we're going to try to get to the bottom of it. But ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that the disinformation campaigns are once again ramping up. The more information that we provide you, the things that we show you, that we discover, immediately these trolling operations come on board and this is what they're paid to do. Slander and produce misinformation or disinformation to steer you the other way. But ladies and gentlemen, you are clearly seeing this with your own eyes. What is actually going on in our solar system? That's the big question that we need answers to. So, all in all, we have some unidentified, rather large object moving through space, producing very strange imaging 
from the Sechi spacecraft once again. And as I said, it's been two years now since we've seen this object labeled the parachute bomb. Frankly, I don't know what it is. But it is a solid object. What is it doing out there? We may never know. Some have asked if it is part of the sun simulator. I don't think so. Those simulators are much, much closer to Earth. They would not be that far out in our solar system. But whatever this is, it produced a reaction, I believe, from Jupiter approaching it. Strong magnetic fields between our Planet X object and Jupiter. That's my theory. That's my opinion. But my opinion can change once we get some further information and we get more footage. See, ladies and gentlemen, this footage on the, uh, on the SETCHI website from the SETCHI uh, spacecraft, it's not available every single day. We have to wait several days to get a few days of video. But I do have my doubts on this long triangular object that they call a beacon. Now, this object may exist on this spacecraft, but whenever you're viewing this image that you see here in blue, and you see this reaction, this, this large light reaction, right on the, on the side of this beacon facing you, that leads me to believe that this beacon is computer generated. It's a computer generated image. It can be placed in this H1A imaging to cover up what is actually behind it. That is our theory. That is our opinion. Very, very strange things are happening. You know, folks, we all see what is happening to our planet. The very, very strange changes in our weather. It does seem that earthquake activity has kind of slowed down a bit. But volcanic activity is on the rise. We see that with Kilauea and a few other volcanoes causing a lot of destruction and these very strange changes in our weather. Some say our atmosphere is heating up. I believe it is true. But what we're viewing here today is definitely very strange. This is not a camera artifact. There is no way. This object is spinning and it produces some type of projection from the object out towards the left, as you see later on in this video. So what is it? Is it man-made? Is it extraterrestrial? Again, a lot of questions that we need answers to. But in no way, shape, or form, ladies and gentlemen, do I believe that this so-called parachute bomb is a camera artifact. I truly believe it is real, a real solid object. What it's doing out there I don't know. As far as the explosive nature that seems to be coming from Jupiter, again, I don't think that 
is coming from Jupiter. I believe that it is coming from an object that is being obscured by that so-called computer-generated beacon. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But the fact of the matter is, what you're viewing on your screen now exists, and we have been viewing this since the middle of May 2018. And here we are a month later, and we're still watching it as it progresses through space. So ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are subscribed to Planet X News and Dr. Elber's YouTube channel. Make sure that you have that notification set up. So whenever we post videos and we have our live streams, that you're notified. But don't worry, if you miss the live streams, check back with our channels and those live streams will be posted as videos. But some extraordinary video footage that you're seeing here today, once again on Planet X News, as we try to uncover the truth about what's happening in our solar system and what's happening to our planet that we call Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments section under our videos.